Hi, welcome back. I'm Debra. This is Phil. Last week we visited the Cote d'Iron and today we are moving into one of Phil's favorite wines, Cameron Hughes, in Napa Valley, Spring Mountain. Yeah, Spring Mountain to be exact. And, and you know, we've done Cameron Hughes a few times, so, but just to catch you up for those um, who, who may have missed them, Cam Hughes is basically a negotiation. You're not going to go out to Napa Valley and, and go to a Cameron Hughes uh, tasting room. Uh, what he does is he buys SS lots of wine. They come from very well-known uh, wineries, and he has to sign a bevy of, of, of clauses and uh, confidentiality forms because he's not allowed to mention who he buys from. But great wines that people, if they knew what was in this exactly. bottle, would be... Yeah, would yeah, be yeah. So say a winery knows that they're gonna, they, they'll are gonna they sell 5,000 cases in a year, but they have enough juice to make 8,000 cases. What do they do with that extra wine? If they overproduce that wine, it's going to get backlogged in the warehouses, and they'll end up losing money in the long run. So they just sell off that bulk juice. Um, and that's what Cam Hughes does. So he buys this. So each one of his wines is a different lot. They're one and dones. You, you know, once the 278, which this is, it's gone, it's gone. So this is 09. It comes from the Spring Mountain District. Um, Spring Mountain is probably one of my favorites for a number of reasons. Um, I actually worked uh, harvest there a few years ago. Um, it's, just, it's just a beautiful, uh, the wines that come from Spring Mountain uh, District are just stellar. And they usually are more like around the $50 range and up. Uh, so this one could be if we actually knew what, what, the, what the real name is. And they excel, don't they, in Cabernet and in Meritage? Yep, uh, yep, blends. exactly, exactly. And I'm going to look, because I, I have to read because there's a few different grapes in this. So this is a blend of Cab Sauvignon, uh, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, and Petit Verdot. Um, and, it, and it's just it's just a beautiful wine. I mean, you know, it has nice tannins to it. It's an 09, so it has a couple a couple years in the bottle, uh, and it's just really drinking beautifully. I, I mean, mean it's, uh, I think Cameron Hughes it never disappoints, and it always more than over delivers. I mean, I know we use that word a lot, but it just is an incredible wine for the price. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it has a little chalkiness on the nose. I mean, it's it, it's mm. it's just a beauty. So, everyday price of this wine is twenty dollars and ninety nine cents, and it's a wild price at fourteen sixty nine. And I think it's definitely worth the worth the worth the price. So uh, it's it's definitely one to come in and try. And they uh, go pretty quick, from what I remember. Like they do, they stuff. do. And and we don't we got a limited amount of this one. I think we only have ten cases, and we've been doing more like fifteen. So I think it's going to go pretty quick. So um, that being said, also just a reminder: November 9th, uh, Friday, at on um, the campus of St. John's at their Bo's house, we have our wine uh, fest coming up. Uh, Twenty-four wines, all over ninety points. Uh, Ken Upton's Ken's Creative Kitchen uh, doing food. There's more information about it on the website. Make your reservations because we do have a, a limit that we can take right, on that. Right. So we it'll be a lot of fun. Today. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'll be a lot of fun. So um, we'll see you at the wine station next week. Bye.